Thanks to your generous donations to our Kickstarter funding campaign, Life Barker Podcast presents Fundraising Inferno 5. Okay, welcome to this commentary track for Barn of the Blood Llama. And in case you don't know what this movie is, uh, I don't blame you because it's a really weird movie from 1993, I think. And, um, well, I guess you'll find out throughout the commentary uh, how weird this movie is. So we're joined here today by uh, a bunch of friends who came over for the event. We got Joe. Say hi. Hi, I'm back behind the camera. And Catalina. Hello. And... Crystal. Crystal. And Kim. And Anna. Oh, Anna's outside Anna's with uh, Katie. I don't blame her because this movie's not going to be that good. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ryan, you're here hey. with me along with Rob. Rob, how are y'all? Hey. Here's Anna and Katie. So, all right. Go, go hop on the couch, guys. So, all, all three of us have, have tried to watch this all the way through to prepare, and none of us made failed miserably. Wait, wait, you're telling me this is worse than Batman and Robin? It is much worse. Oh, I no. I've seen that either. Well, if you're familiar with trauma films, this is not a trauma film, but if you if you like those, you may like this. <laughs> you may like this, because this is... I think that there's a genre for this called Hicksploitation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah redneck zombies. That's yeah, exploitation. Zombies. So, here we go. Barn of the Blood Lum. And I hope you have the DVD. If you don't, uh, you can buy it by snail mail from one of the producers, Gibby. He's going to be in the movie. He's the guy with the eye patch that keeps switching eyes throughout the entire the film. The one that has the eight on it, like an eight ball. Yeah, like the eight ball. So I bought this copy from him, and he also sells VHS copies of this. This is a 25th anniversary edition, and it's just a burned DVD with like someone wrote something on it with a Sharpie. Yeah. So that's the 25th anniversary edition. Yeah. It's more personalized. Yeah, yeah. That's right. If you have lucky enough to have the 25th anniversary edition, just stick it on your player and we're going to do a countdown and you'll hit play and start the movie. And you can't you can't order it on the internet. You have to mail in the money to $16, I think. That's that's what I paid for it. So, my sweet $16. Here we go. Okay. But we, obviously we've run short on Clyde Parker movies to do commentaries on, so can we all do this is a can we all stretch. shout out a five Countdown? Yeah, for yeah. the yeah. zero people that have this at home that are going to... And uh, you got your finger on the play? Okay. Yeah, sure. I guess the finger on the play. All right, so... <laughs> We're watching... All right, are you guys ready? Okay. ready. Five, Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, play! Llama! Oh, there's a second menu. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Another, well, another, another menu. Well, okay. I'm going to turn off. That's specific for... God help us all. This uh, this one. And maybe gravy film. Yeah, Directed. that blew my eardrums out when I had that with headphones, that tone. I wonder if it's white or dark gravy. Here we go. Starts well in the barn. Yeah, my, my notes for this, all it says is what the hell <laughs> am I watching? <laughs> well, this is how most horror stories start in the <laughs> barn. Yep. Starting a record by candle or by match light. I thought at first that that was a sound effects record that was just playing rooster sound. It's the rooster mix track. Yeah. <laughs> and here's our first llama. Yeah. He obviously does not like the, rec the rooster record. Is that the llama? That is the yeah. llama, yes. Okay, Skrillex. This is already better than Batman and Robin. I know. <laughs> this is like some lynching stuff, dude. This is like what happens when Tangirl goes to Mexico for the weekend. Yep. <laughs> Tijuana. Tijuana some llama. And it does mess call. Oh, I like that artistic choice of changing, messing with the uh, aspect oh. ratio. This is uh, clearly inspired by uh, Carpenter's The Thing opening right there. That's <laughs> kind of dope, actually. How do you do that? 
Like, I don't know. Is it maybe they burn the film in slow motion? I think that's old uh, animation cells. Oh. Sounds like it's drawn on. Wow. Huh. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Some pretty cool stylistic things done in this. Yeah. So Clive Barker describes the dreaded male berserker syndrome. Imagine you have You know, I'm sure with the DVD sales, he could stand to spend the $30 to get the audio mastered. I was thinking to get real latex gloves instead of those heinously sandwich packing gloves. And it seems to me that that <laughs> recording was made like 10 years before the movie, because that's like <laughs> Weed World era. Yeah. Quite it's not. I mean, there's a there's a blog for this. It's barnofthebloodlamablogspot.com. And in it, you have like, who kidnapped Clive Barker for this cameo? And that says, Gibby did. He came to town to plug his comics, a new book, and I was doing a live show. And I said to my co-producers of Cutting Edge Comics that they would not get the studio unless I had film of Clive to put him in my movie. So he did it, and Kevin came up with something for him to say, and he read them off the cues. It was very cool, although his behind-the-scenes agents or manager did not like the look of the camera or other stuff going on, I think. There you go. Oh, man. And you're never going to see Clive Barker in the movie again. For that, that's it, that's it. I mean, we've seen. They're, they're gonna intercut a little more. We've seen Clyde Barker's name appear more times than we've seen Clyde Barker show up. Yeah. Cause they won't oh, have no. Oh, the llama. Oh. Why did they the just show llama. up there? Because Demon that, llama. That woman yes. gets killed later on in the that's movie. That's a kingster llama. That's a spoiler. Yeah, that was a spoiler. Oh, let's get a good look. Oh, this where it gets good. Yeah. Oh, We're gonna get it on. Woo this is my new favorite movie, Jose. It's like two heroin addicts mud wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have we seen, have seen heroin addicts mud wrestling. It's not as hot as this. I feel like there should be a chicken in there somewhere. When my flight was delayed, I was trying to watch that in the gate with all these people around me, and I got so embarrassed I had to close the computer. <laughs> Say that was a real llama? <laughs> not in that scene. Uh oh. But there was a real llama showing up in the movie. <laughs> He's one of the producers of the film. Hey, that's who uh, messaged you on Facebook. And yeah. Hi, Gibby. Hi, Gibby. Hi, Gibby. Hi, Gibby. Threatened your life. <laughs> there aren't enough movies nowadays where people argue about who gets to use the wheelchair. <laughs> And yes. this is entirely dumb. Cut out my fucking uh, wheelchair for this. I, I wrote the, this line down because it's so much nonsense. Gotta get to town for some wool grow before the jump tackle closes. Uh, what? You know, <laughs> everybody <laughs> understands that, right? Well, if you read their blog, there's a lot of weird stuff here, too. I mean, Where was this film? This was filmed in Austin, Texas, I think. I was about to say this. This yeah. little movie is like just meth trip in Texas. <laughs> like, <laughs> staycation. <laughs> Someone asked in this blog that they got, the producer said, what's the origins of the film? And he says, rather get those bluff and Wizard of Oz and faster pussycat kill, kill, and Kirko's weird sense of humor. I don't Kirko see any of that in this. Yeah, no, this is just methods in, in Austin, sorry. Right. <laughs> we need cowboys and llamas and lady women. Yeah, I mean, honestly, How you go wrong though. Honestly, with the sound being this way, I mean, his his the way they shot this movie, they probably weren't capable of recording audio simultaneously. I didn't realize that Bach spelled his name B O C K. Bach. He's like the he's the rock star of this movie. Oh yeah. And she's gonna pick him up right now. Bach like what a chicken would say. She's got a white trash fez on. Yeah. She's always sitting up there. I don't remember seeing her. <laughs> they both work, work in a diner, and that's the horrible hats they have to I wear. I was wondering what the hats were. Yeah. It's, it's like a bacon fez. Yeah. 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 Okay, I was wondering what that was. I hope you all enjoyed the color in that scene, because it, I, it's a, there's almost no color in the whole movie. You never had that one hit, didn't you? That's right. Well, if you're from Texas, then where did you get that English accent? <laughs> Seattle? Seattle? 
says everyone from Texas everywhere. Where did you get that accent from? <laughs> In the blog, there's an interview where someone asks, give me your most twisted memory of filming. And he says, there were too many from having to produce 32 hours of live Waco fire tank going in the compound footage, live anti-government survivalist shows to get the llama head effects done. Whatever that means. What? That's amazing. Well, it looks like it's like a type of puppet. So, like, who's in charge of this? Then to get the miniature barn built uh, to six hours of rehire sound and background sounds and being chased down by North by Northwest biplanes in East Texas cotton fields. <laughs> That's a dope car. That's yeah. a nice car. Wonder who you stole that from. I'm gonna start it from a car club. It's like what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't have a cosplay for Lincoln, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to make bacon hats. Everyone will know exactly what. step into my closet. They'll go, oh, part of the blood llama. <laughs> and then he says, to the photo shoot with some titless bimbos we chased down from a mama son tit bar because they had the Maserati, and the girls would do that for the water body double afternoon. But no go from the daddy control bucks at the tit bar, too expensive, will pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he's also the writer for this movie. <laughs> well, that looks like a typical night down. How is it a tip bar too expensive? I don't know. That's you gotta be really cheap for that. Hey, Trump. Oh God, he looks like Trump. Let's go away. <laughs> Damn, they scored some footage of that llama running. Yeah. The llama's cute. She's about the llama's crazy. Yeah. Like oh, oh, we know. We saw. Yeah. Well, she got that bouncy hair. Okay. She killed the llama. Okay, no, pet team for me. What's the animal lover gonna do next? <laughs> so this guy's in love with his llama, I think. He was the guy having sex with a llama. And here's a here's an answer to the question why llamas. Well, they are the last animal or creature that is still controllable to make into a horror scorer, bursting, abusing, spewmeister, bleeding, choking creature feature that has not been used by any major filmmakers yet. Okay. Right. So basically, llamas are so adorable. Let's fuck with them. Okay. Or maybe he actually is a llama lover. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly. Like llamas. Yeah, and then he goes on to say, Boone and I were thinking of a movie idea back in 1990 on the set of another movie. And we said, what are the three ingredients to making a good, no-budget, quickly, flicky horror film? Those are barn in the title, blood in the title, and llamas in the title. Also, the second AD on that flick said we could shoot on his llama ranch. There we go. And he told us about the male berserk syndrome, and that was it. We had to make the movie. And so they sought out to make the worst piece of crap ever? Ever. What else has this guy made? So do you think a package is going to be the prequel or the sequel? I would love to see him. I mean, are we doing all that just before or after? Right. I have a few people I can ask about that, but I can't log into those without a special computer. Well, here's the producer of the movie. Wouldn't think of it to look at him, but there it is. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Oh, look. Yeah. Who's your best friend's dad? Who's the duck coming back? Yeah, he was concerned that this was an official Texas Frightmare screening of Charlie the Blood. And he didn't, he didn't want it screened? I don't even know. He was just asking someone to just double check, and I said that it was just a private screening that, you know, we were putting, that we had put together. And he said, okay, cool. Why did he hit you up? I have no idea. I guess I look like the, le the least scary person. Oh. Look, it's me hanging out at Joe Catalina's house. This guy kind of looks like uh, was it? I like their burger shack. Yeah, that, that was it. Oh, is that where? Oh, okay, that's Bach? where the bacon hat yeah, yeah, come yeah. from. Bach kind of looks like Rob Halford from Judas Priest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's like a cheeseburger hat. Right. Be here, man. You're about to shake those two up. Yeah. Me. I guess those are the ones you call titless bimbos. I guess. You know, oh no, they're somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not as nice as. all these people to ADR their voices over the top of the Not necessarily. It could be completely different voice actors. No, like like I said, I don't think he had the cap capability of recording audio while filming it. That's why audio is all over the place, and there's so much ADR. 
Also, they probably weren't able to secure permission yeah, for everything, so they had to do it, um, you know, guerrilla style, which means yeah. you just, you know, you're just like running around. Oh, yeah. oh, keep it down. That rule's not good for much now. Oh, so you're I didn't mean to hear. You break her, you buy. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. They ran over the line. So now instead of towing the car, they're going to tow the You need triple A. You need triple A. You got baby powder. <laughs> like olive oil. Uh-huh. Like she knows. Yeah. You call yourself an animal lover? You don't know the meaning of the word. Maybe you should get a bumper sticker that reads, practice random acts of violence and senseless cruelty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's my favorite line now. Yeah. So is he going to drag the llama along? Wait, what? After reading her the riot act about how she doesn't take care of animals. Uh, the guy with the suitcase, yeah. He's yeah. telling her that? Yeah. He's got no business telling her that. Well, he's an animal lover. You know that patch candy? That thing really works good. Hell, I'm already down to two packs a day. I think that guy's a doctor who's going to switch the brain of that guy with the eye patch. You know what that llama meant to me. It was my wife. You know what that llama meant to me. He likes burning. It's a really quotable movie. Really? What? It's a really quotable movie. Oh. Like, I can see myself with my friends being like, you know what that llama did to me? <laughs> what the hell? Is that llama supposed to twitch like that? And so apparently, uh, the, the guy who wrote this. Oh my god! <laughs> Llama surfing! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Keep surfing that llama! Surfing that llama! Right? Can we get some hashtag? Hashtag, hashtag keep surfing that llama. I already did a hashtag llama trauma, and there were other already 30 other people that had hashtagged that. Oh what? my god! Yes! <laughs> already, yes, yes. It already had 30 tags, so I was like, wow, I will research that later. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and spew awkward hashtags for us to find. We don't click on it at the end of the day. <laughs> but maybe bought cash on this and it seems. I oh, do so wait, these people way. are like cooking in their underwear? Oh, Ooh. Yeah. In that the middle of this, I'm assuming the summer, in Texas. Yeah. There's a lot of Botox yeah. on the one in the middle. Yeah. I'm not sure she can really smile. Oh, so I think this is the jump tackle right here. Stop here, Tony. The jump tackle gets a low for Tom. Yep, he's, he's getting some... He's trying to get some oh. wool grow out of the jump tackle right now. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. So he's and he got like a chicken mask. Stuff out of the garbage? Yes, that's the okay. jump tackle. That's tack. the jump oh, tackle. Hashtag, and he got a chicken mask. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing I heard about like, trauma, trauma, somebody actually got hurt by a horse in a llama, and he's talking about his hospital concern. No! <laughs> oh. Another thing the producer said is I have over 10 hours of the making of this film on videotape. That's really bad luck. Wow. And played it in the local access station. All right. Well, I wonder who saw that. I mean, nobody watches that. There, there was a special feature, but it looked like a bunch of nothing, right? It yeah. was like a countdown. You're going to love it. You wanted it, Oh, chicken mask. Yeah. Of course. He's so, still fishing. Like shot chicken mask. We want it all the way to the net. So that guy spends all day in the bed of that truck just waving his fishing pole. Like, yeah. Casting his fishing rod. What's really sad is that that actually is something that could happen here in Texas. Right? Would you be surprised if you saw that? I Anna? would not be surprised. No. No. I was just at Costco and I saw a comic book called Bible Force. Yeah. Superheroes from the Bible. And I was like, yeah, I'm in Texas. Really? Yeah. We're, all, we're not all like that. Sure, yeah. I saw that in Seattle too. I saw that at the store. The other thing that this guy, uh, this guy that's driving the, the, the tow truck has crutches for no reason. Through the whole, he walks far through the whole movie, yeah. So here's, here's a, what kind of shooting schedule and budget were you working with? 
Well, we started the movie in July and shot about 80% of the movie that summer of 93. Then we went into weekends. I would suggest that you shoot the whole movie in two weeks and get your tit shots first and don't wait for effects. No way. Do not wait for the effects. If you have effects in your movie, do them first and figure out how you're going to do them and shoot them first. Actors are easy. Effects are hard to come by. Sounds like a trauma movie. Right? He says, basically put most of the film on my credit card and I think that Kevin, who's the director, did too. Got some money and time of energy from Kelly. I don't know who Kelly is. We started out with 4K and credit card debt, but this doesn't count all the freebies that we got. No one got paid and we did not have craft services. Borrowed everything and shot over the four years with the use of three llama ranches, eight Super 8 cameras, and lots of panache. So, oh, you know, so that's how you do it. There you go. I'm going to start saying that our stuff has lots of panache. <laughs> Bloody infected dildo. Panache. <laughs> but that explains the sound they shot on Super 8. Yeah. And that explains all the, the color issues and the... Um... Oh, oh, there's an explanation for that. Uh, this movie had three different DPs and five directors. Oh, and, okay. And eight Super 8 cameras, along with two 16mm cameras loaded with retreads from another flick rolling everywhere. Wow. Wow. That's definitely it's a... It's like, uh, clusterfuck is not the word, but it's no. the first thing that comes to mind. God, and they shot in July? Yeah. So now every yeah. single character we've seen in the movie are all together in this... Llama funeral scene, we don't know why. Paying you for a funeral. Yeah, well, she ran over the llama. Yeah, that now, fake animal lover, how dare she. But now all the people from the, um, okay, from the diner are here too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, will PETA slow down? <laughs> The, the producer complains that they shot this in July, uh, and so there were unnerving levels of sun and fire ants biting you and sweat. Yeah, July gets pretty not fun here. By the way, at the end of the funeral, he said, and now let's mosh. And that, what, mosh? Yeah, like mosh pit? Yeah. Mosh. yeah. Oh, I thought the sprinklers were. Okay. It is a metal funeral. It's a metal funeral. Okay. They're moshing it. Thank you for clearing that up. Just a preacher? He was tanked. Oh, well, you should have been there last Sunday. He ended the Lord's Prayer with a shot. Hashtag Texans don't talk like that. We don't know. She from she from Alabama. Oh, boy. Well, he had a veil on his head. That's and here's the, the, the big question that they asked the producer. Who's the one amongst you into bestiality? And he says, hmm, not me, but you know, that Dr. Albert was certainly into the reenacting of the Hummer Jets. Should have seen the outtakes trying to make it look real enough. It was like fisticuffs with a little llama who couldn't sit still. Oh my god, that poor llama! I have no idea what this means. I'm mortified. Do we advocate? Like, do we need a petition? Yeah. Sure. Have fun with that. Are they feeding it correctly? I love this llama shape. They didn't even have craft services. <laughs> that, that llama that was great to death. They put all their budget into that llama shaped casket. Oh wow, that's like a Viking funeral. Yeah. Viking funeral. Yeah. That llama, like, I ain't llama sure what about my life. They said that this movie was, was made in Austin uh, and Dripping Springs. I don't yeah. know where that is. God, my sister. Yeah. I don't know how they did this long tracking shot. Maybe it was on a bicycle. This is the nicest shot in the whole movie. It is. <laughs> One of those like five is, directors yeah. that they had, I guess. Yeah. They actually scored someone worth a damn. Yeah. Well, I enjoy it because we're going to go back to 16 millimeter pretty soon. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. And they kept the whole shot in here because they knew it was the nicest thing they had. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and people, they, like, as he's tracking down the, the pond, yeah. people run around the camera <laughs> to get back in line. <laughs> 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 And that was the most expensive prop in the movie, yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. This is so, well, the whole movie is that way. So just to recap, this is mad veterinarian Dr. Albert who's been performing strange experiments and stranger sex acts with the local llama herds. Bessie, his favorite subject, escaped from the world of wool ranch, easily eluding crippled redneck brothers Jug and Jibby. Bessie manages to infect the whole herd with male berserker syndrome. So how can Bessie infect the herd with male berserker syndrome? That means Bessie was a male, right? Well, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm 
lie, if you go back, the gloves were different. He had latex gloves on in the last grade. There you go. The gloves have actually changed three times. This guy's I mean, makeup gonna be... artist talking, but yeah. I've never seen the variants of gloves. Right, and this guy's eye patch keeps for the switching lamas. eyes. What if the llamas have allergies? Uh, yeah. I don't think they're really concerned I'm, about that. I'm allergic. Uh, is this director shift? Yes. Yeah. This, this is oh, yeah. when the camera took acid. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think we went into director shift. Now that we know there's multiples. Were the crucifying so bo bock in that scene? Huh? It looked like they were like hanging him off one of yeah. those like leather things. Yeah. So they, at one point they said that Bach is doing treatments, and in another place they say that he's a clone of the rock star Bach. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, be both. I'm interested in the sense of I, I'm waiting for the ending. So what is yes. this like, right? Isn't this bizarre? <laughs> what the hell is that? that? I hope like he's having a like, film yeah, shot or something. Don't yeah, you keep, look like you keep wanting to like hold Catalina's yes. hand in confidence. <laughs> You're like, what are we doing? Yeah. This movie is... hand is inching closer and closer to yours like as the movie goes by. This movie is frighteningly <laughs> bad. <laughs> That's a shot of them filming the movie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's self-consciously reaching for his insert. What the hell is this? Video here. <laughs> oh, okay. And you think it's gonna be like a rock video, but it's not. There's no singing. It's not. They, they it's stopped just this synthesizer the whole time. Dude, they totally stopped shooting on Super 8, and they went like full camcorder. It's a commercial for the world of wool brand. They're shooting on VHS. Oh, they went back to that old yeah. crappy director. What is that rope that I'm they're tying everybody so with? Confused. With what just happened there? I don't, well, I feel like God. And in Resort parts, Lodge. Okay, we entered Arkansas. You know, maybe it's supposed to be like a, a Sorry, an advertisement for World of Wool, and be like, yeah, guys, yeah. we're having fun. Yeah. yeah. And all the people from there. It, it is an advertisement. For, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wool Ranch. A ranch of wool. And scrub. That wool. guy must be a trapper. <laughs> and they have <laughs> cut facials. <laughs> Dude, I totally meant to listen to that music this morning because it's gonna get me out of my head. So we kind of rushed today. So what are they? Wool covered eggs. Oh, fertile wool covered eggs. Yeah. That's where the almonds come from. From furry eggs. Oh, that's so gross. That's his umbilical cord. That's what I guess. Like, is that supposed to be an umbilical? Oh my god. That's kind of what I feel like. It's like um. Oh god. Not a cud kind of facials. Oh yes. Individual results, <laughs> What is it, cud? That's when, it, uh, when a cow chews up grass and turns into cud. Oh, okay. So is it llama cud though? Oh, no. Oh, gross. Well, I've seen snail facials somewhere. It's like red hair. I know. What's that? I'm gonna have Wait, did he get out of his wheelchair? wheelchair. Did you no, he never needed his wheelchair. Do you, do you think that series of commercials was like showing how this got transmitted to titties? Babe. Woo, titties! She was going there. Oh. Dude, there's the camp where they shot that part of the movie on. <laughs> Oh, I guess he's experiencing the berserker syndrome. Maybe. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say the, the umbilical cord kind of reminds me in uh, Lords of Salem, the Satan scene. So maybe like that's what they were going for. Obviously, like the fort. Never mind. Is it over? What happened? No. <laughs> Is that how it ends? Please. I so need like another hour of this. I know. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. The system is great. Like, like, no, I'm gonna do you guys a favor. Stop. Like, what's the hell? Oh no! I like it. Yeah, right. Well, your computer rage quit on a movie. This is a negative B movie. No. This is. Oh, this There's is no like chapters, a, of course. I guess we're gonna have to call it a Z movie when it's so That's bad it can't fit into the first three categories, so they have to go negative. Oh my gosh. It's a Z movie. Is that what you call a? What do you call a? They're just. They're just. They're just. I wish I could just the word movies. They're just B movies, man. They're just craptacular movies, man. I don't remember that at all. Holy crap, we have so much left of this. 
So this is like the. So just just to specify the the burned CD that was the 25th anniversary edition. So this comment actually put on that, this, that, that uh, hiccup to is going to be saved for the 30th anniversary country yeah. track. Oh, ooh. oh, hell yeah! Sorry, it was a Pet Cemetery. John. Yeah, Lithgow. John Lithgow is going to be in the new uh, version of Pet Cemetery. As, as Herman Munster. As Herman Munster. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this thing. You heard it here first. They keep jumping. They keep doing like uh, zooms on the guy's face while he's talking. Everything I'm synthesizing. Are you regeneration serum? Look, she's Instagram ready. She is filtered out. Yeah. And no one's seeing anything. <laughs> Does she have a cold score? Or has this actress been around this whole movie? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, she's the one with the sunglasses. Yeah, she's that the guy too. I'm a uh, fan. Oh, she's the animal lover. Oh yeah. So she didn't have anywhere to go because her car was trash. I wonder if some producers like told her when we're up and they're like, your nipple circumference versus your eye circumference. You're getting one of the two. Are you an A cup with a hefty nipple? And you divide that over to them or you get caught. Exactly. I expect to hear lots of people who talk like that guy and you know that we're in Texas. Oh yeah, that's all <laughs> the conventions we've gone. He's the most gorgeous Catalan. Oh, man! Deep red job! No, I'm sending a message saying I need you to get this way. Right um, help yourself, my bar is in the bathroom. <laughs> There's actually a scene later on where they'll subtitle him because you can't understand what he's saying. Oh my god. Oh man, that's some dope fire. <laughs> Hey Ryan, can you hand me that? No, no, the papers. Because this movie came with something called the Barnacle, which is a little fanzine by the producer. So I'm going to open that up and see what it says there. It's called A Supple Mental to the Flick. Okay, what is that? Blood Llama. It's called the Barnacle. It's a fanzine oh my that was sent that to me along like with the movie. That looks like the little things that I used to make in middle school about Lord of the Rings. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know about you. Oh. Oh. Right. So it says here, ancient llama eggs unearthed in Peru. Rut Rutgers News Service. Lima, Peru archaeologists digging in a Mayan site south of here have discovered what it is to be believed the oldest known llama eggs ever found in South America. Pictographs on rock walls near the side reveals what some say, maybe what the ancients have been searching for all along, which is the secret. So they don't say what the secret is. Dude, this chick has been in just a bra this entire time. Yeah, it's weird. Go in my head. At some point, she'll probably just lose it. Maybe? That's, so they're all eating Oops, yeah. llama haggis. Llama what? Haggis? H-A-G-G-I-S? Yeah. Hold on, is that from the dead llama that they buried, or is they just went out and killed one of the llamas like, from their farm? Where in the llama buffet are we? I don't know. I am, I'm kind of confused. Yeah. Like, which, which nationality is in charge of this llama? Four and a half a meal. We all gonna cook the llama differently. Here's an article that says the Llama Town News has just reported another incident where, whereby the llamas have found a new way of driving off-road vehicles. They have found one of the greasy squeezers many mini televisions. Look, this you have yeah. to read this to, to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> like whatever this guy is on, I, I want some of that. And there's more stuff here. So he sent you all this stuff with the DVD? Yeah. yeah. This wow. special edition. And this. I don't know oh, what this dude. is. You cut it up and you send it to your friends. Did he and here's real rural world Wait, reports. He, he, starting said, he gave you like craptacular postcards to send to your friends, but he doesn't want anyone to watch this movie yes. unless he, they get, he scores 16 bucks. That's it. I hate this person. Yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering where are our bumper stickers? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there was a makeup artist in this in this movie. I think makeup artist in this movie was just like a Halloween store. Yeah. Just smear Vaseline on the camera. 
Oh, there's the farm report. You know what? Now I'm seeing where they got the inspiration yeah. from that idea in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> He's explaining why the doctor's car isn't in the movie anymore. What? Because the llama chewed off the distributor cap and ate it. Why was it right. open in the what was that? Yeah. <laughs> I like this lady's hat when they go back to her here in a minute. It looks like they wrapped like a trash bag around it. <laughs> so barnacle. Uh, Screech uh, like a severed head so at Dr. Albert, the smarmy animal. I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell it. Is this an experimental? I don't even know anymore. Brain paging hawk, birds and sex scarf, nut spewing toxic llamas. That has it's nothing better, to do right? with the movie. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It does not. It does not. Wait, I think I think that's the lady. She ran over the llama. Oh, cool. She looks like she's squatting over it to go poo. Yeah. Actually, I really like this artwork. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not joking. I, I like it. I think it's fun. Recommended, Recommended for mature audiences 15 years and over. Oh, yeah. That's, I guess yeah. you only need to be that mature for this movie. If you're drunk and high, that makes it even better. So, and they have dung pellets that serve two purposes. They can cook with them on the barbecue, or they put them in the shotgun and shoot people with them. Oh, yeah. I like that. Very versatile. Yeah. You came to the wrong fucking gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, but. I'm just really, really confused by all of the weird capitalization in this barnacle. Yeah, same ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're just with different hats. <laughs> hey, that was weird. Wait, so they purposefully made this look like shit. Did you see that? Before it switched, before it switched uh, cut, it went from black and white to color. Yeah. Oh man, here comes the sexy llama. I think so. So they completely like what? Did they just carry lingerie with them in their bags? I guess in their purses. Yeah. It's not unheard of. So yeah. I guess it makes sense. This is literally the definition of turn your brain on, off before watching this movie. I know. I'm like, yeah, okay, this one's with me, so. Right. I'm walking around with my bra. No, but they like, they, they were wearing completely different outfits, and now they're wearing lingerie. And that dog's a pretty good actor. Oh, yeah. Well, best actor in the movie. It's the tour. Yeah, that's right. 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 Oh man, Gibby can. Oh my gosh. Where's the water around this place? You <laughs> thirsty? This is as far as I got when you say plane came. Me too, I feel kind of dirty. Dirty. Want to, you tramp. Me? Well, look who's talking to Queenie Yeehaw last night. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Queen of Yeehaw! Yes! It's funny that Gibby's only idea of someone needing water is if they're thirsty, because he doesn't know what washing himself is. <laughs> Did he say I got a crypt? A crypt. Oh. Oh, like Creek? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's hillbilly talk for Creek. But you grew up in the Metroplex, so. I grew up around Metroplex white trash. There you go. So rural white trash was. That's a different kind of monster. There was a review that said, even fans of Roger Corman and early Sam Raimi will not be prepared for this movie. The guys at Mystery Science Theater 3000 would shudder in gleeful horror. Wow. <laughs>
I don't know where they went. I think that's a good though. review. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I would go with yes. Yeah. Positive. That's cool. cool. Why are they Why using a milk jug to put water on themselves? That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> They're in a creek. Is this the same body, of, is this the same body of water that the llama is at the bottom of? Hashtag titty shots. And why would she just lift her shirt up like that much to pour water with yeah. the milk jug? I don't. What I want you to do is I want to do. <laughs> Extra turnips. You pick my job. <laughs> Why are you straining my blood all my tits is right there we can. I want to show you're gonna make fun of me. Yeah, there was a there was an article back from 1999 that said that they had secured a showing in Manchester, England. I know. And they were about to sign with an Australian distributor. It sure looks like it so works. somebody was going to see this movie, I guess. Yeah. So what happened? Did they actually screen it in England? I, I have no idea. They watched it and said no. <laughs> yeah. They just liked the title. I mean, people, they, you know, distributors just buy shit and distribute it. They don't watch what the, half of what they're selling. Something in the bushes. I like these sound effects. What the fuck yeah. is that? They're throwing them. They're, they're, yeah. so they're, they're turning those pan lids. Yeah, they knocked the tree down. How? They're they're the 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 guys' yeah. got, they just <laughs> flew off. Yeah. Let's stop, girls. I don't mind standing good whack stuff. Yeah. 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 What? What? Context, please. <laughs> I don't know. Take a oh, and we also missed a scene where that, that big lady from the diner got killed by a llama. Yeah. Oh. It's been like corrosive cut on her face and melted her face. Oh. Ooh. From the llama, like drool yeah, or something? Yeah, and I think okay. it also killed Bach. Maybe. I thought Bach just got the male berserker syndrome and got the weird hair. He did, yeah. And then he was hit around by the llama. was chasing him and that lady with the sunglasses down and then I didn't see what happened after that. Oh, okay. So the Berserker Syndrome, what, turns them into, like, cretins, basically? Yeah, I think so. That's a, that's a good definition. What? What? Uh, cretins. From Newton High. From Newton High? Yeah. The hair. Right here. This is my pa used to scrub the wool by hand. This really oh, I think that they stopped off and they're doing a tour. They're doing a tour of wool, World of Wool. I can't believe that world barn is still standing up. Yeah, but it's not Oh, that's the treatment they were doing for Bob uh, to make him younger. They sell on late night TV. Wait, who are those, these women? They're different women. I think they oh, are. Thanks. Yeah. Have to take a dip. Oh, okay. Hey, that's the same shot from before. The same exact shot? <laughs> the same exact shot. Dang girl's blood. And a baby jar. At least they got the apostrophe right, so we know it's from one dead girl. <laughs> And if the cop shows up, show up, then their job's pretty easy from there. <laughs> Just in case there was any. Well, Captain Obvious might have shown up to the scene. Box skin tissue. Yeah. You know, I was a bartender in Texas earlier now. Now, we check the cud reaction. The cud reaction. My God, this is unbelievable. What does that have to do with being a bartender? <laughs> yeah, God. we totally, we totally keep like, you know, science experiment <laughs> stuff in the back of the bar, right, Julian? Yeah, right. But we do have a Bart, and he is a mad scientist. <laughs> Hashtag toxic testosterone. The <laughs> cut is turning into toxic testosterone. Maybe some sound effects. I'm writing all the sound. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a lot of blood. He's got an artery on his finger. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. You need a transfusion. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my fault. How <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Just a lot of blood. You've got llama blood in your veins. Yeah. Not in your ear. Yeah, I'm glad he specified where where the llama blood was. <laughs> yeah. I would have been really specific. lost. Like yeah. that lady had llama blood in her car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got the dinner. Did you get the 
get it running? Dent? Is that what she said? Yeah. Is that the same actress that did the llama? <laughs> yes, yes. And she said, at least you got the dent out. Did you get it running? And he was like, what? what? I needed to get your car running? Oh, okay. So the is like what you spit out when you chew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what Anna was saying. Oh my god. Yeah. What is this? Oh, speaking of properly it's playing that. pianos. It's that guy. It's like younger brother, that guy is saying the love thing to Texas of Secession. So this shouldn't surprise anyone, but uh, the producer was asked in an interview, what about distribution? Any luck? He says, no luck. I don't know what Kevin's doing. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I won my 33%. I guess the web is the only place to go since Tromo don't want it. And Frady Cats in the no-budge worlds. Who do these people think they are doing to llamas, making this brave little film that could? Sheesh, give me a break. You don't know what you're missing, baby. 150 people showed up for the showing at the Gaddis Pizza and Beer, and they had to call the fire marshal. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing, baby. Yeah, it's got like seven A's. <laughs> I was wondering why you were reading it that way. Baby. Maybe we'll get lucky, And they'll have brains as big as their balls. Have brains as big as their butt? Okay, girls, let's step in wool. Okay, they're like exercising now in the wool. It's oh, called yeah, low impact, Ryan. It's low impact. Yeah. Well, they're making the best but of their craftacular in investment. And the dog is doing Because those too. are definitely the most comfortable shoes to exercise in. I'm going to personally hold Clive Barker accountable for me watching this movie. I'm <laughs> I'm going to take this movie to Texas Frightmare Weekend and, and, and force Clive Barker to watch this. Like, do you said, know? This is your fault. Actually, your would, attachment to this film destroyed two hours of our time. We watched this last night. Yeah, he's going to be like, Say we watched this a couple hours ago. What, what movie did you watch? Uh, Bond of the Blood Llama? I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask him if he's seen it. We should. If you get a second to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to him in line. Yeah. I would definitely like to hear that his response to this movie. Yeah. It was all That means the youth dip's not working. It's having the opposite effect. Damn it. The youth dip isn't working. Jug's trying to make donate a brain. This guy's the worst actor I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, shaking like, my head doesn't work on the podcast, I guess. Oh. No. Well, we're also taping the, the y'all's reaction, so we do see you shaking your head. <laughs> now they're doing katanas. Oh, this, yeah, they're, 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 I think they're fighting the llamas. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I think they've got it under control. <laughs> oh my god, don't throw the pitch for That was dangerous. That was. What is happening? What is it? They're doing another music video, I guess. Now he looks like Stacy Keach. Finally. The 1812 Is that like a, what do you call that thing? A musket? Yeah, I guess. It'd be funny. Oh, now they're bowling. Bowling for llamas. Hashtag bowling for llamas. I wonder if James oh, Franco is going to, you know, star in a biopic of this filmmaker or producer yeah, right. next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, no, they're bowling the llama eggs. The llama eggs. Llama eggs. Oh. That are fertile. Has anybody ever seen Mano's Hands of Fate? Yes. Yes. That's a long time. Jeez, I completely forgot that's that existed. Compared to this movie, that's like... There's, yeah. screen, <laughs> there's screening and they want to... That was the Ten Commandments yeah. compared to this pizza yeah. garbage. It's actually this weekend. Let's talk about Mano's the Hands of Fate. <laughs> Actually, Orson some guy discovered an uh, uh, almost pristine copy of that movie, and he restored it. Yeah. He, uh, he bought a bunch of movies in like a crate, and he discovered like a copy of Mono Sands of Fate, and he did this project where he restored the entire film. Dang. Yeah. He has a video <laughs> camera. That's dedicated. Wait, the llama's gonna bowl. Oh, I thought the llama... Oh, yeah, the llama's gonna bowl for the chicks. Oh. Quicksand. I don't understand. Is it quicksand? 
In the grass? I don't know what oh, I'm doing. Oh, 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 he's banging her over the head. He's banging her over the head with the bowling ball. And so that, you know, put her into the ground. I just want to know where these people are today. <laughs> but you know what's great is it actually, they probably live close by if it was filmed here in Texas. And they're like, oh, that was the name of that movie? Yeah. The best movies are the ones where you need 10 people to figure out what's happening in a scene. But you, how many of there are us here? Let's see. But not like you. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. ten. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Someone from this movie made it to CSI. <laughs> what? Oh that's exciting. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Good for her. Um, wow, that's important. So, he got that to, notes. as a maintenance engineer in 2001, Damn. but wow. he's still doing oh. stuff. Talk about oh. a career change. He has. Was he a dead that's body? awesome. Good for him. What is going on? He just. I'm gonna have to look it up. Right. It was not quite sure. <laughs> uh, did, was her head knocked off, but they used a mannequin head? Not, Maybe. Oh, the, the, the llamas are driving now. That's what he was talking about. Oh. So, to recap what's going on in the movie, I found this review says, Searching for his lost love, Albert runs into the local one-hit rock star Bach, Earl Satoff, who has been suckered into undergoing the doctor's rejuvenation treatments at the World of Wool Spa. Bach has promised fast food vixens at the Greasy Squeeze, Janet and B, those are the two girls that were wearing the hats, and occasionally Connie Campbell, when Kirsten couldn't make it, that they can be in his next music video. Meanwhile, just passing, just passing through Tony runs into a llama with her car. While Stucker tries to fix it, Tony takes refuge in the world of wool with everyone else. Before long, everyone finds themselves under siege to the nightly rampages of angry, bloodthirsty llamas on the loose. Even the girls' junkyard ninja skills fail to keep them at bay. That's what we just saw. After a couple of attacks, the supply of victims needs replenishment, so a group of female pro bowlers you know, drops in. I think you're reading the script. Female <laughs> <laughs> A group of female pro bowlers oh, drops in. Gonna have that. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Yeah, buddy. So, you remember that scene that you asked for context? It was the female pro bowlers were dropping by to have their balls polished and their holes re-drilled. One gets decapitated, but her head, kept alive by Dr. Albert, offers a clue to solving the gang's dilemma. Dilemma, yes! By discovering the contents of the surreal duffel bag of destiny. Wow. Dude, whoever wrote that review is like for oh, real, the real no, MVP. Dude. Wait, what? Did, oh, did she give him a condom? Yeah, yeah sheepskin. Sheepskin, yeah. Oh, oh the, she's, 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 that, she's okay. gonna do this. All right. Really That's cool. Negotiating with the llama about this. The, oh, baby. Oh, wow. I didn't know. I, I thought I saw Hey, we should movie. upload this to RedTube. You do not. No. <laughs> Movies do not watch in a, in, well, on an airplane. airplane. It's not real. Yes. It's like, sorry, Wolf <laughs> Cop. This is... Wait, Wolf Cop? I haven't seen that. Wolf oh, man, they're not yeah, going to finish off. Let's talk about Wolf Cop. It took that off Netflix, sadly. That was on. Man, 105. Okay. Um, uh -oh. They're already in there. It's, it's the herd. Yeah, it's the herd. They're coming. So that's a mechanic. Yeah. So one of the pro bowlers' heads was decapitated, and the doctor is keeping her alive. Okay. As you do. Okay. Before we do the operation, I think we better do a sound check. I want to make sure Are they going to cut it off his head? The brain you got. Why do okay. you need a sound check for an operation? It's it's hard to you, when you start asking questions. Where do you stop? Jan in the pan. Oh, we're waiting for the equipment to warm up. How about a nice cold glass of llama buttermilk? Oh, wait, oh God, llama buttermilk. That sounds so appetizing. He's like, he's excited about getting his head cut open. Oh, right, he's going to get a brain transplant. Yeah, brain transplant. This is like Bride of the Monster if you, like, 
<laughs> Leave it in the bucket of your jeans and put it through the wash. Hogwood bowler, come in. Lane three. Hogwood bowler, come in, Buffy. Open your left eye. Now open your right eye. Blink. They were okay. already open. Open your mouth. That is good. <laughs> and wider. Nice teeth. You're about what? 23? Thank you. I make it a habit question regularly. <laughs> Let's see how long you can Understatement of the day. Certain scenes threaten to dive into uncomfortable territory. I should say. Perfect. In all, this would make a fine video party tape, even if you're not from yeah, Texas, especially if there's a jug of white lightning handing to wet your whistle. Yeah. That's an M MD 2020, I heard. Yeah, that director, that director quit. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa. That's why there's bad continuity. Oh, oh it's a cage. A llama disguise, maybe. I don't know. I don't understand this. Nobody understands this movie. I feel like this might be for sexual purposes. They need a, a sample. Oh. They, they need a sperm sample. Oh, okay. Thank you for knowing what was going on. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. Ruby reached to new one. Oh, oh. Yes. So right now the guy is like getting himself inside a fake female llama and oh, he's got gross. a semen ampoule collector going straight into his mouth. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go use a restroom. I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. Wait, yeah, you're gonna miss. Uh, you, then you won't understand the plot when you come back. Oh my god! I, wanna, I have no idea what I've been watching. Oh, what's the heck of a seat pad, guys? Oh, that's Gibby, right? Was that sucking his brain out? <laughs> Through his mouth. Hey, he's making a magic trick. Uh, and stomach acid. The There's another bathroom in the. In, if you go back to the master bedroom. Oh, for all the guys. Yeah. And just in time for the fall fashion season. Just in time for the fall fashion season? No. Wait, is he alive? I don't know. Did you notice he had a heart beat sensor that. hooked up to his watch? Yeah. To his watch? Wristwatch. Wait, I oh. thought that was him. So who's on the table? I don't know. Who's on first? <laughs> What's on second? I'm going to scoop out your brain. I'm going to scoop out your brain. Yes. With a sander? Pretty dull. Let me get the cross cut. Now that's a blade. Jeez. What? Oh, 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 gotcha! I thought they were dead already. I guess not. Is this one of those movies? Oh, they just go, hey, we're just gonna come to this today. Oh, this a lot of people do that. What was the point of that fight with the girl? Sorry. 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 Like a watch your hands, Jimmy. What? Get the hell out of here. You're next. You're next. Because he needs it more than you right now. Oh, I can hear the fake British accent now, finally. Yeah. Took me the song to, to hear it. Oh, no. Oh. He took, the, he took his, uh, he 
Hey, you know, could it be good? You know, I can't get out of this watch. Well, I was waiting for Dr. Howard to get finished with uh, Bob. You know, his dip didn't turn out. I wonder so if he good. really talks like that in real life. I don't know, but he writes really weird. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that when Mom was around, she could make those lawyers do almost anything. She had them eaten out of her hand. Man, I got nothing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we all decided that, that she must have run off with a circus geek. She was always talking about how stimulating she found them. Chuck stuck the little cross. In the yard, over there, in her memory. Damn. So to anybody out there yeah. that's still still right. with this movie you know, at this point, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Why? He was kind of pressuring her mom to decide who she liked better. Did she like the circus geek more than any of us? Dude, you are a circus this is, this is a very, very moving story. Yeah. I, I'm almost drawn to tears. Joe's missing out on all the, all the character development. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the emotion. Now he'll never know that, that uh, Gibby's mom ran off with a circus geek. Hey, what the hell? Oh, what is no. Oh, they're going to get pressure washed. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. That's not how llama legs work. Well, also, the llama earlier was holding a knife in between its hooves, so, yes. I mean... <laughs> what is... Llama exploitation. That's good, yeah, you could say it's llama exploitation. They created their own genre. Uh, genre of one movie. Yes. Because <laughs> they are just... That's all the world needed. Here's another review. This is not great cinema. Hell, it ain't even good enough to be considered bad cinema. <laughs> but not bad for a no budget fun romp through a silly llama farm called the World of Wool, where we meet local animal coroner Dr. Albert as he's porking the daylights out of his favorite llama, Bessie Sue. actually like drink and stuff because well Rob you're in luck because there's extra materials on the DVD uh. I think I mean, y'all don't even live here. We live here. Okay, this is I knew, it was only like four hours away. Yeah. I don't want to invite this into my life. Well, I think he mentioned he was writing a sequel called Rabid Geckos or something, oh, right. Rabid Gerbils or something like that. So I, I don't think that ever got made, though. Yep. Wow. Please, <laughs> Rob is begging for the end. Oh, we got, I think we're getting another music video. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, man. That llama was so stylish with those sunglasses. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's what I movies always have to have a music video in it. I'm sorry, Nightbreed. You also had a music video in it. Oh, God. 
hug. We're about to rock this llama to death. That's what's happening over here. Although I did wonder what Lori was, what you know, like I did wonder more about Lori. So I'm glad that they did put that back in. Yeah, yeah. In the director's cut. Yes. Yeah. I'm reading the bio of uh, Kelly Sweeney. He plays Dr. Albert in this movie. And his biography is pretty laconic. Just says Kelly Swiney is an actor and producer known for Barn of the Blood Llama. That's it. That's all he did. What is that? His IMDb? Yep. yep. <laughs> he has an IMDb, really so he's legit. Like, God damn it, Joey's missing everything. At least we found out that someone made it to CSI, right? Yes, that was really happy news. Yay! <laughs> I didn't even make it through the entire cast list. Who knows? <laughs> you know, at CIS. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the llama is now playing the keyboard. That's really gonna block it out. Yeah, I'm offended by the language. Here is the biography on IMDb of Gibby, the guy who plays the the guy with the eye patch. It says Kirk Hunter has 30 years of experience and knowledge of motion pictures and video arts. Kirk has a technical expertise of HD, 4K, and digital, Super 8mm, 16mm, and 35mm film formats. He has been a producer of low-budget features such as Barn of the Blood Llama. You have to read it in Gibby's voice. Why do filmmaker of four sticks in 2000 slack the dome with documentaries? <laughs> Wait, what? I just turned my head for a second. What is this? We went into a different movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they found a brain. Gibby. Gibby's gonna get a brain. No, I said Gibby found a brain. Oh, yeah, that's it. When you ask for something as special as a brain, yes, you need to be able to run around. Oh, yeah. Let's play catch you, baby. Oh, my God. Did he lose his other eyeball? He fell down so hard that his eyes fell out. And his brain fell out. Was oh, that wrong? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we're not going to get to make fun of Gibby's voice anymore? Oh, man, Gibby's gone! Oh, no, Gibby! The llama took his job! So here's what Gibby's done. Uh, producer for 20 years from 1980 to 2000, known locally as kirk -Omatic. Many series shows such as Cheap Peaks and Cypherscope, Firebox, and kirk -Omatic Live. As well as teaching, oh my god, as a teacher. Uh, <laughs> teaching at ACTV camera classes and editing. A tech advisor and teacher at the Austin School of Film from 2005 <laughs> to 2012. And his film and video artwork has been screened in multiple festivals, museums, and video galleries the world over. I think he wrote this stuff himself. I want to know. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, well, let's have a discussion about IMDb, okay? Because right. actually, Joe's in charge of, like, all of our IMDbs. Right. So you do. You, what you do is you just go in and you fix up your own, right. you know, your, uh, your own yeah. profile you and everything. You can pay a little bit extra to, like, you know, get your IMDb Pro yes. and get your uh, picture on there and all that jazz. But when you have that, you can really dig in deep and like fix stuff up as fast, like really fast. And when you know, do the links yeah. and so on and so forth. But uh, our favorite IMDb story is about some guy that posted that he had an IMDb, so therefore he was legit and everyone should work with him for free. For free. For free. He had no, no other thing, nothing else other than the fact that he had an IMDb. Yeah. No credits on it. No credits. No credits. I've seen oh I've seen IMDb's where just random people will go and they'll put that they were in like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man film. So it's stupid. And then people come. Dude, I have an IMDb for being in a fan film from Hellraiser. So <laughs> yeah, there's all the Hellraiser fans. I'm not. Films. I'm not in any way like a uh, producer or anything. Oh, they ate him at the end. They ate Gibby. They, no, they ate the dog. The dog yeah. Oh. They might have I want to know what he teaches his students in editing. I don't. And they throw in Jerry and you shout for the guy with his umbilical cord sticking out. The trouble around here started way before that. It doesn't matter if you switch cameras in the middle of a scene. No, 
Ryan. He made this movie to show them what not to do. This is a work of cinematic masterpiece. You little shits don't know what you're missing. You paid for the whole quarter of your band, so I don't care if you eat it. I'll give him that he comes up with some weird titles like Forced Exit 2000. I want to know what this movie's about. That sounds terrifying. No, yeah. I don't want to know anything that has a Forced <laughs> Exit. Yeah. No. Forced Exit. Forced? You've, you've yes. heard of Forced Entry, now here's Forced Exit. Oh. Watch him come out with like a genius movie and he's just been punking everybody since 1997. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. I wish he could make it. very, very generous. <laughs> Well, you know, I saw Peter Jackson's like first movie, and then I saw Lord of the Rings, and I was like, I can't believe they got this guy to make this bad, movie. Bad taste. Yeah, and then I was like, I saw the rest of the other movies. I was like, okay. Oh, it was well, a Peter Jackson gradually progressed until yeah. he made it to Lord of the Rings. Right. But even then, he had a hell of a time getting that done. Yeah. I've seen well, Meet well, the Fiends, but Texas not first film. Yeah. You've seen the Frighteners, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Frighteners is pretty cool. Fun. I think hands down is best. Yeah. But oh man, I missed my copy. I had it on VHS. What's that? Dead alive. Yeah, no, I had it on VHS because I wanted to watch it. Because he bought the rights, didn't he, or something like that? The film, he owns the rights to the film, so you can't. Oh, for real? Yeah, you, 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 you got a Blu-ray. Yeah. You can't get it. It's out of print. You can't bid it. Oh, buy it anymore. Really? Like hundreds of dollars. Why doesn't he release it? I don't know. Maybe Peter Why Jackson do doesn't want any of his old yeah. stuff, all his old splatter films yeah, to be released. Yeah, he wants to be known for Lord of the Rings. Well, it was it in Lovely Bones and King Kong and that commercial stuff. Maybe he'll come out with like a box set of all his early films. That'd be dope. Yeah. What is he holding? Is that wool or someone's head or... I mean, it really could be either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, give his hair. Or it looks like he forgot his crutches. Oh, so that's him, man. I'm also using battering rams. Jeff, wait. Your mom's clothes went back for a reason. Think. Why? Wait, the animals are using battering rams on the barn? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they have to tell us because they're not showing you. They shake the camera around. Uh, I was wondering what was going on with the shakiness. It's, it's hard to... Is he bouncing in place? Is he putting a bra on? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. He doesn't want the llamas to bite his nipples. Oh, I can't take this. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I'm yeah, really getting frustrated. Uh, really get, yeah, I knew it was sick as bad. Have you guys seen a movie called Rollerblade? Rollerblade? Yeah. Hold it's on. It's about roller skating nuns in the post apocalyptic world where everybody has to wear skates. I think I've heard about that. That sounds, that sounds awesome. awesome. I'd rather that, watch that, that movie. That's my number one worst movie until now. Oh. No, this is definitely it. I thought Rollerblade was a movie with Chris Klein. Yeah, that's that was Rollerball. Rollerball. That movie sucked too. So the secret to destroying the mutant llamas involves resurrecting. Uh, Gibby's uh, mama, who he killed and buried in the backyard because she would only have sex. No, wait, 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 what? Hang on. Jug holds a secret to destroying the mutant llamas, which involves resurrecting his dear mama, whom he killed and buried in the backyard because she would only have sex with his younger brother, Gibby. Ugh. So, so Jug and Gibby are brothers. And that's their mama? I thought she left. I thought that she had gone with the circus guy. Yeah. Okay. So maybe he lied and he killed her? I, I guess. And now and she's... Anyone's guess. Luckily, Jose's reading the script for us. I know. <laughs> Mama? Mama loves her llama? Oh my gosh. Because all the llamas want is to be loved. The movie's a hardcore result of nobody questioning the That's how you fight the male berserker syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> this was recorded on someone's llama farm? Yes. Like three llamas. Like, yeah, over the course of how long? Four years? Oh, it was three different llamas. And it had eight different Five directors. Five different directors, yeah. and then like three or four different DPs, I think you said. Can you imagine the, gross. The, the llama farmer seeing them shooting this and going, can we get out of this? <laughs> That's why they had to use three llama farms. Yeah, right. I, I got a, 
a weird bit of trivia I want to put here because we see all the llamas go into the barn and um, it just made me think, you know when cows are being taken off of trucks and taken to the butcher, uh, to, the, to the abattoir, there's a cow that usually is brought out and, and, and attracts the cows to go inside the abattoir. That cow is usually called a Judas cow. The Judas oh. cow? Yes. That's what they use to make the cows come out of the uh, truck oh. and go follow her into the abattoir. Oh, wow. Isn't that, isn't that like sick? Yeah. That's really mean. So under command cows. Okay, I guess they're not fans of Jesus Christ Superstar because Judas was just trying to save them, man. <laughs> Judas was just a guy. Just a See, why couldn't the whole movie just look like that? Yeah, that yeah. With that kind of lighting. I mean, is that a fart? Is that a fart? Is that a fart? No, I think yeah, the llama is fire. Oh, okay, there's, that, uh, there's the barn that they built yeah, to, the to light on fire. So the miniature. Like all the llamas into the barn, they locked them in, and then they set the barn on fire with llama fire. Okay, yes. well that actually is a lot better than what I thought was going to happen, because I honestly thought they were all just going to run a train on the mom. Also known as, we don't have an ending for the movie, so we're just going to say that everybody burned and they all died. We actually do know someone with a llama farm. We do. Uh-oh. We do. But all these artistic choices I don't agree with. Yes. I don't think. Oh, you should do what Darren Lynn Bozeman did with Mother's Day. Make it super uh, hardcore narcissistic and depressing? Yeah. That movie was hard to watch. It was good, though. It was way better. <laughs> Wait, does she have llama legs? Oh, Is that Jibby? Maybe if this would have changed. So when he was cross dressing, he was resurrecting the spirit of his mother. I yes. don't. So yes. Okay. So now his mama's soul is in him through llama. Sense. I think Michael Bay should buy this movie. Yeah. It's more explosions. I don't really know. Wait, since you're yeah, talking about that, you're about uh, Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher, there you go. Who we bought? Oh, no, he. Oh, oh uh, no, don't say that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Please oh. tell me no. <laughs> Is she pregnant by a llama? Yes. Mama llama. I think he's a boxer now, right? Yeah. I'll write that one down. Is that it? This film is dedicated to the memory of white trash enthusiast and confidant Donald Martin Rackett, 1958, whatever. So, what's everyone's, uh, how does everyone feel about that film? I feel like I need a drink. I never want to watch that again. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Never. That was actually really brutal. And I know they don't mention that it's pretty bad, but I really, really did not understand the depths of how terrible it was. I don't think there's any coming back from that. Kirk Hunter is giving. Yes. But does he go by Gibby on the on the Facebook? He goes by Gibby on Facebook. Yeah. yeah I mean, he has the, two profiles. I have him on as uh, Kirk Omatic, so I don't know. Uh, let me see if I can find it in all my mess of frightening discussions. Like said, he may speak like that for a while. Yeah. Right. Gibby Jacoby. Oh my god. There we go. Dan Hauser. Ethereal <laughs> Harpist. Clive Barker as himself. Thanks, Clive, for that. Yeah. yeah. 
Right. Of course, it has to be. Right? The biggest cloud, so. so wait, they what? Did he hold Clive at gunpoint again? What exactly happened? How, uh, I know you said it like four times, but yes. I just yeah. I can't wrap my head around it. I'll say it again. I think he was in town to promote uh, some comic books and some books that he was putting out. And then one of these producers uh, worked for a public access TV channel and they wanted to make a movie and they wanted to get a studio. And then they said, well, if you can get Clyde Barker to be in her film, we'll let you use the studio. So they wrote up something and shot him saying it, the male berserker syndrome. Right there, like a Q&A. Yes. And, and then they got the studio and they made the movie. And what was Clyde's response to this? That he was like, whatever, I don't care, just get away from you me. You know what? You got, a, you, got a, you got a an interesting idea. Let me see if there's anything on the Clyde Barker website about this movie. Yeah, on Revelations, yeah. Born of the Blood Llama. This might be one of those things that Phil and Sarah say, oops, we drew a blank on this. Let's see, Born of the Blood Did Llama. we purposely left that off the There's website? probably... Maybe. He talks about almost everything. There's probably There's something names, he mentioned right. in the news. Okay. I'll figure it out. We're not going to have some from your car. Yeah, we're going to have to look at it. All right, so that was Born of the Blood Llama. Yeah. Yep. I guess we're signing off. Thank you so much. Find the show notes for this episode and join the discussion over at www.cliveparkercast.com where we have news and links to all the ways you can connect with us. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and every other place you can find podcasts. The Clive Barker Podcast is an independent editorial podcast and news blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Sarah Fameek. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Thanks for listening.